Hi, I am uh, Dr. Jim Guerra from Naples, Florida, and today I'm going to be describing a really slick technique on how to repair the quadriceps after you've done a quadriceps harvest for an ACL reconstruction. This is called the quad close technique, and it's a really slick and efficient way to repair the quadriceps in a side-to-side -side fashion, which is not only efficient and fast, but also extremely strong. So I think most everybody is familiar with the Scorpion. In this case, I'm using the Fast Pass Scorpion. Um, and this is our fiber link. And you'll take the free end of the suture, you'll double it over, and just load it into the slot in the actual device, and pull it all the way to the base of the slot. Then you'll take the fiber link, the loop part. So this is the fiber link loop here. And you're going to pass that over the neck of the Scorpion and create, um, uh, create basically a loop uh, in this way. And what this does is it allows the first pass through the tendon to become a luggage tag. So we're going to go ahead and take uh, the meniscal skid that we took from our meniscal repair set. And this, this works very well. We're going to slide that underneath our quadriceps tendon. So you can see where we want to be with our uh, proximal extent of the quadriceps. So I'm coming in now with the scorpion device. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the scorpion. So you can see I got a really nice big bite with my scorpion. Um, and I'm on the proximal left side of the tendon, and I'm just going to go full thickness through and pull out. And as I pull out, I'm going to create a luggage tag. So you can see how nice that luggage tag and the excellent control we have of the tendon. So then we're going to um, go ahead and load the scorpion again. And now I'm going to bring my suture over to the, to the left side. Let's bring that in. So with the second pass, instead of going forehand, I'm going to turn the scorpion upside down so I can get a, uh, just like you would do a, a normal close, so I can get an up-down orientation. So now I'm taking the bite on the contralateral side, and notice I've or changed the orientation of the scorpion. And you can see as we pull that suture how the tendon comes together. Now it's simply a matter of just going back and forth. So we're going to repeat the same process. And you only really need the scope for the first few passes. So now I'm coming in with the second inverted pass to the right side of the tendon. You can see I'm coming in. I like that bite. I'm going to grab that and pull that through. And let's show that tightening up. So you can see now we're coming in with our third bite. I like that. So now we're coming in once again with the scorpion inverted for our next pass. And now we're getting pretty close to our uh, incision openings where I can actually really see well uh, through the open incision. So you just go successively back and forth with a standard pass and an inverted pass. And now my last one on this side. And you could do this with a free needle if, if you find the scorpion is a little awkward. So in order to tie this off, you want to tie the final limb uh, to a loop. So you take the last pass and create a loop and then you're going to come around and good. And then you want to grab each end to figure out which one is the one that's going to tighten the sutures and the tendon. And you can see how nicely that brought the sutures together. And you can see how it closed it down very, very nicely. Once you're satisfied that you've got it maximally tight, then you're just going to put the half hitches on top. So at this point, I typically just cut it. Um, but if you're worried about, I've had never, I've never had a patient complain of any prominence of the knot. Uh, they don't feel it. But if you wanted to, you could certainly, you know, cut off uh, two of the two of the limbs, do a free suture, and bury the knot in the quadriceps tendon. I generally just cut it, and that's been very effective in my practice. So we're now looking at our repair with the scope, and you can see we got this beautiful side-to-side -side repair. Uh, nicely reapproximating the quadriceps, uh, and it's extremely strong since it's performed with suture tape.